Hello and welcome to the Atlantic Candlepin Singles Tour Class C Northern Conference from Academy Lanes. Hub 125 Haverhill Nash Paul Grand Live on the ACST Facebook page. Today a battle of two versus five, battling for playoff positioning and potential first place is Justin Ruggiero and Spencer Lisi. Spencer is the home bowler. He's coming in the fifth seed, just the number two seed. They'll bowl for 14 critical points, four for total, two points per win for a string, one for a tie. Five string format. This is their last match before division battles. And we'll put the standings up in just a moment. Let's put it right now, real quick. If you can see this here. The Olympia Strip with Fort Dillon for yesterday. The general, Ryan Patton, number one. Jeremy Van Dyke, one point behind. Justin, a match behind. Nine points in first place. Dan Gray last night won four and ten against Jeremy. He's the division leader and has a, not quite locked up yet. And there are the four wild cards. Spencer, Scott Bradish, Eric Sikowski, Ryan Billings. On the outside, Craig Powers, Mark Welch, Lane Britton, and Paul Hawkinson Jr. That's a quick look. It's in portrait mode, so it restricts our ability to show it horizontally. Underway, Justin Ruggiero with a two on the left, six ten on the right. First of five underway. Thanks for watching. Please share with your friends and family. Get them to bowl. Can't up from bowling. Nothing like it. Justin started the Kids Bowl Free program. The son Dominic bowled in that. They started bowling since then. Good bid there. His wife, Krista, bowls also. Hello, Ben. Thanks for watching. First of five with a nine. Justin, the visiting bull in his home house. 18 week season, the division bowl each other the first three weeks, in the last three weeks, for the 12 matches, six home and six away. Happened again, another split. Four on the right, two on the left. Two head pedits, two tries to start the match. Ruggiero, excellent try. 4 7 10. It is object, the name of the game. Justin, somehow the 10 goes, the 4 7 does not. What a strange game. 8 17, his first couple of boxes. We'll put those standings up later on. Again, Justin needs 9 points to take number 1, one of the final three weeks division battles. Competed with Scott Bradish week one, went four and ten. They're very competitive. Also, Ryan Billings, the ace seed in his division, and Greg Vellante in his division, Division Three North. Four horsemen. Great shot, got it. So, he had, so I must have missed the first box. I don't know what happened, but this, he had a spare nine somehow a nine, an eight, and a spare. As we're making adjustments on the fly here. On the bonus, spins back six. Same shot again. 52 through four. We got a strike to start, actually. I don't know if you missed that one. We got shifted last minute to a different lane, so getting all my sheets and notes ready here. Six, 52 through four. Oops, missed that first one. Nine, 55 half. Justin. Somehow, I think that's right somehow. Good. I think I was showing the, I, I think I was showing the standings. I thought you weren't start, you didn't start yet. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yep. Yeah, my mistake, I was put showing the standings. I thought he was, wasn't ready to go. He threw a strike while I was showing the standings. My bad. A strong 61 half. All right, back to normal now. Spence Lisi winds up. Eight, seven, won't go down left. Six to the right. Well, he's been dangerous this year. There's a 600 series. Trying to kick it over for a spare. Nothing doing. Seven still. Rocking and rolling. He'll go for an eight. Down 11. 
Both balls are tough outs. Justin needs not to be first place. Spence needs 14 points to get three points behind Brian Patton in the same division. Division two. The general, the number one seed. Elise with five up, five down. Usually put those sheets up in between when they fall ball, but that won't get caught in between. Elise for spare two full. It was 103 average early this season. It's regularly 98 in Millis. It's a 110. That was Pins Hop down there. Spencer grabs two for nine. He's down 28 17. Box to box. Hello, Dan Gray. Great matchup last night with Dan Gray and Jeremy Van Dyke. A back and forth match. And a two versus five today. Major playoff implications on the line, seeding wise. To join the Atlantic Can Open Singles Tour next season, A, B, C, D, and possibly new E Division, contact Danny Finn, F I N N, on Facebook Rescue. Here's a strike! Each with one strike, and that one I saw! <laughs> what a bomb! 27 plus 2 through 3 in the first of 5. This guy can kill it! So I owe Justin a strike shot now. <laughs> A-L-E-C-I, Spencer Elisi on the strike, six, a check mark. Three for four in the head pin. He's up against a 61 half from Ruggiero. Trying to uncheck it for a spare and strike. Got one, seven on the fill. 34 through three, down two. Alisi left side for a seven. Justin now leads 52 41 through four completed boxes. He's up against a nine and a 61 half. He's a big 20 to tie it up. This is going to be a war. And potentially a second round or first round playoff matchup. Probably a second round, I should say. There's a lemon drop. They both agreed. One dollar on the four pin left, six pin, second pin right. Five dollars and a spare strike. Ten on a double strike. Helps support candlefoot for cancer. Oh, four thousand dollars raised last week alone. Good second ball. Good look at this leap. Yikes! Take a picture of that one, folks. Two seven back right, six right, nine left. If you can get two out of this, that'd be good. Seven. Forty-eight half. Justin Majero has the lead. Sixty-one forty-eight. Halfway through the first. Number lane 27 here at Beautiful Academy Lanes, Club 125, home of the Mixed World Tournament in June. Coverage on Canlump and Bowling Network on YouTube and Facebook. Just three years of Canlump and Bowling, Justin Majero. Fourth and average, beautiful ball, 2 2 split. Four for six in the head pin, three splits, unofficially. 2 4 left to the right, 3 6. Bossy ball raise the three. His wife Krista and son Dominic watching. Dominic, a great young bull on the rise. He gets a seven that time, 68 through six. Strike down, he missed in the first box. My fault. Spare four, six in the fourth. There's an eight, nine in the seven box also. Nine boxes. It's all right hand up, trying to get to the mark. Smooth ball, full again. Spread eagle throwing the nine. Great bid. Almost got it all. Will he go? Just about. Masterful shot. Got six out of seven. Just couldn't get to the nine. What a, sh what a shot. An attempt for a spare, and that is good confidence for him now. 10, 78 through 7. That's a pro 10 box for the Class C bowler. He started this season the 99.65 average in his league. In the ACST, 
He's fourth in average with a 105.80. 132 and 64 coming in. On the nose again, eight. A little bit of a crossover, 610, double wood in front. Six, for eight on the head pin. Spare. Second spare of the straight. 88 and the ball through eight. Nico, thanks for watching. Appreciate the feedback. Great job supporting Canal Family Network. Uh, half West, I brutal. Hate that shot. My least favorite shot. Two. I guess 12 to 10, you could say 90 through 8. Spare fills a 6 2, a strike fill of 9 in the first. And that's a Paul Grant shot right in the same spot. Many of two boxes of my 110 best average year. Well, once a week of no practice. Big out here, and he chucks out one somehow. Are you serious? Wow. Are you kidding me? A half was to fill. He hit the head pin and gets a strange, strange three box. Watch that one, folks. Take a video of that one. Brutal. And again, that half was to momentum killer. After getting that 10 box up, a spread eagle plus to nine. 93 through nine. Back in the nose, another spread eagle. This time it's the eight. Unbelievable. 70% in the head pin. It gives Spencer a chance to win the string. Same, oh, look at the back pin. Now it's a clean spreading. Look at the eight behind the two. Tough sledding. He's three for 100 after all that, after a 61 start through five. Audrey Pin gets step seven, gets even 100 with three marks. A 39 second half. And a, no breaks at all that time. But you got to fight through it. Spence needs a mark to win. He's at 48. Now 13, halfway through the first of five. ACST Class C, Northern Conference, Academy Lanes, Hub 125, Haverhill Mass. Check out the new, brand new, full bar in second year. Excellent, high quality burgers, pizza, pretzels, and more. Chicken tennis are phenomenal. 725 South Main Street, Bradford Section, Haverhill Mass. Spencer. One, two in front, and it's the three, six, ten to the right. In back of the three is the nine. Wood in back to in front to help, maybe. Like that, and he almost got it. Watch out in the playoffs, folks. This guy can kill it. Has a power ball. That one got away for a nine. 57 through six. He's down box to box, but. He's up against a three box coming up soon. And that gives him a chance to win this thing. One mark can get the job done. The points he needs to catch number one, the general, Brian Patton. His high single, 176. Market shot for a strike. 878, Jeremy Van Dyke on the lead lane. made the shot against Andy Klumper to help him win the fifth string, I believe it was. It's on Kenneth Fooling Network on YouTube without wood. And talk about no wood, no luck here. Fourth head pin hit, two splits in seven boxes. And he may try to use that wood and boomerang it. I would give it a try. What do you got to lose? It's going for him. He missed it. Another chance at it. We'll try it again. Two for one special. High triple, 428. High five, 636. Now he goes for the pin and gets one for nine. We'll never know. 66 through seven here in the first of five. Needs 35, the next three for the first two points. 34 for one point. On lane 27, Elise winds up, pushes right, gets four, make it five. One, two, four, seven, the eight behind the two. In the same division as number one seed General Patton, Brian Patton, Paul Atkinson Jr. on a late surge of late, and he, Andy Clamper as well. For a spare, just missed. The wood taps number one. Needs a mark in the final two. Two outstanding bowlers. A 
Alisi going left again for nine, 75 through eight, 25 to tie, 26 to win. The final two boxes of the first, four strings after that. Both 26 and 16 in the divisions, the, goal, the divisions last three weeks, as they did the first three weeks of the season. Off to the left, he gets a half Worcester. Two in the eight. Don't you just love that shot? Jeff Little, the laser watching. Jeff trying to get that playoff spot. In class B, the defending class E champion. So he won't be able to obviously defend his title. At least he goes right and he gets a six out of that somehow. Not bad. One of the four. A couple of pins here would help. One anyway. He'll need a mark in the tenth. Close, close, close. Alisi, great 10, perfect finning. 85 through 9. Needs a 16 box to win. Spence of 55 and 29 home record in six matches. He's got three of the next four, including today home. Just one away match at home. He's 68 and 44 on the road. Good balance. Needs a mark. Looks good for a strike. And he gets the Queen Book. No, it goes. Maybe a strike. Weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. How close can you get? He's convert to win the string. Look at a 7 9 split. It's still shaking his boots. 5 for 10 on the head pin. Has to get it. And a strike 7 earlier. Needs it. Bang! Chance to win. Six to tie. Seven to win. Clutch. What a great first string. Players start. The new season ends May 11th. If bowls get done on time, season will start. We'll have two weeks to bowl each playoff round. Finals in July. Elise, he needs six to tie. Seven to win up the wall. Five. That close. Five to win, six to tie. The extra is five to tie, and they end up tying it. It was five to tie, six to win. So he tied. 100, 100. What a battle. A big spare in the 10th. Even Steven. Playoff fever here. With the three box. Cost Justin Majero two points. If it's a four box, he wins it. That's why you never give up. Here are the scores after each string. Now make sure that it's not bowling. I'm going to show this like last time. I'm usually aware of that. Once while I get caught in between. But what a finish. That's Spread Eagle, the half twist rather, on that eight box spare, and the three box killed him. And it's 100 to 100 after one. And we start our second of five, back to lane 28 here in April Mass. Justin Majero, the two seed, on the hit pin. Seven, five, six, ten, left to right. Not going to be easy. Seven for ten, the head pin, four splits in the first. Trying to give it a ride. Thought that'd be too deep, it was. Now he's got the setback, Lee. Five, six, ten. Just a great guy on and off the lanes. Yes, it was a wild finish, Dan Gray. And a nice nine, maybe a ten. The illegal block, the blind side. Ten bucks. Great pinning. You don't get that shot too often, even with wood. One point apiece after one. I mean, the best Spencer can do is get four points behind Brian Patton. Justin needs nine to get to first place. Eight away now. The general Brian Patton sitting in first. Here's a strike ball. It goes. Wood took down the eight. His second strike. And that one I saw, Justin. <laughs> he puts the thumbs up. I showed the playoff standings while I was warming up. And uh, he threw, actually started before I was expecting to. And I missed that strike ball in the first box of the match. So I get a reprieve in a sense. He had a strike nine. That first box of the first string. And here he goes again. Two great bowlers in a great match. Two versus five. Living up to the hype so far. 
trying to double it up and back to spread eagle but he got the six to go and look at this leap wow he's been brutalized in splits two four seven three nine half whisper in the ten take a video of that one nico and in the hole ouch a four fill in the strike you could say he's on the head pin at least trying to get at least three here and only two and a six he gave him the strike four, 30 through three the hard way. See how he bounces back. He punched like crazy in that first string. Four splits and seven head pin hits to this string. Two already out of three boxes. Bundle of six. Jerry Van Dyke after last night's 10 point on Dan Gray is one point behind the general Brian Patton for first place. Ruggiero just missed number one. We'll come back. No, just missed it by a smidge. Almost stole that one. Gets the 10. 40 through four on the second of five. He's had some monster strings. It's a 142. Single this season to 560 high series. It's out of the season 4 and 10, 14 and 14. Spins back for a couple more. He's got a full horseman check mark on lane 28 here in Haverhill, Mass. At Academy Lanes, up 125. For a spare. Missed the head pin again. It comes back. Spare. Off the wall, back behind the one, throw the flag, illegal block in the back. What a strange half, 50 plus one. He shakes his head, he can't believe it. Take it where you can. He's got three spares, two strikes to the match. Alisi, half whisper again, two in the eight. Just for zero, Spencer Lisi keeping official score. No award winning chicken scratch today. Alisi trying to bounce back, does, but leaves the 4 7 10. He can smoke that ball. You don't count him out for winning the whole thing. In the channel for a seven. It's down three in the string. Down three in the match. Ben with Spencer also. Hello, Terry Forks, Maine. I'll be up in Maine next two weekends. Maine APH. Next two weekends opens the, this last weekend of April. Live coverage on YouTube on Candle from Bowling Network. Michelle Atherton will be there also on CBN on a separate stream. Amanda Carroll, the number one seed for the ladies in both weekends. Alicia, four. No head been hit so far. The string. Five in the first of two splits. 40% clip. Excellent bid, but these are the 6 9 10 triangle. The great Tom Olster, Hall of Famer and President's Cup winner. On the President's Cup in 1987. He had 40% splits as good as he was. Nice pinning, 10, 17 through 2 in string number 2. Down 7 in the string, 7 in the match. Last time we had a 3-4 matchup with Jerry Van Dyke and, and Dan Gray. Today it's a 2, Justin Majero, 5 seed Spencer Lisi. Junk count Spencer out for the division. He's got a bowl to general Brian Patton in the final three weeks of the season. Nice ball. Look at this. 4-8-10. But would could go. He's got wood between the 4 8 wood rolling around. He wants to wave it off. First split this string in three head pin hits. On his first head pin, I should say. So it's three for six overall. Three splits in the match. And a two angle piece of wood, you're obviously going to go left. It's not going to be easy with that high piece of wood angled by the four. Try to barrel it through into the channel. Let's try to get the edge of that wood. Has a chance at it for a 10 box. And he took it for an 8. 25 through 3, down 5 in the string, 
Down five in the match. They tied the first 100-100. Spencer beat nine in the wiggle. Got the spear and a thigh fill to tie it. Just had three marks to two, but that, get that three box after the spear, spear two hurt him. Elise pounds the strike zone on the crossover. Eight, nine, and ten. Would to possibly help. Fisher is split. I wouldn't use that T wooden left. He may try it though. But I think he's going to go right at that wood in front of the nine. Let's see how he plays it. He's going left. No. I thought he'd go right. That's how I'd play it, but to each his own. Even the Class A ball has asked for advice. Nice 10. Second 10, the last three blocks. It's 35 through 4 in the second of 5. Down 5 in the string, 5 in the match. Up against a gift spare from Justin Majero. This has been a terrific match. Alisi slides left, parallel pins plus the eight, five up, five down. In front, the one, three, behind, left to right, eight, five, nine. This will be something. Great try, but can't get back to the five middle, eight left, nine right triangle. Heck of a bid, the object. He does some ups and downs this shift. When he's been on, he's been unstoppable. Eight that time, 43 half, down seven in the string, seven in the match, plus a bonus ball from Justin Ruggiero, the number two seed on the road in his home house. Match 15 of 18. Spencer, can I see just for a second? Can I see she just for a second? Back to lane 27. Ruggiero just missed the pocket. Pushes on the nine. Six in the fill. 56 half. A 13 pin lead in the string and the match. Nice shot spare. Each got a full horseman for a spare. Back to back. 66 in the ball through six. Spear six and a strike four here in the second. Ruggiero with two G. Beautiful ball. Eight. Rolling back. He's got the seven eight. Big eight, Phil. 74 through 6. For a spare. No, had to go a little more left in the wood to have a chance. Good effort, though. Not an easy shot. Not a guarantee. Justin, 9. 83 through 7. Done. John Hogan's now fast e bowler. How you doing, John? Good. Right, great match. Ruggiero right in the pocket. Takes down eight. Two left, five right. Woods to the left, one behind. Three splits on five head hits here in the second. For a spare. Who do you know? I thought he had it. Just missed. Yeah, I thought it curved in. The two pin is shaking. It got a breeze from that ball. Just about got it. It may have nudged it. Wow. 10. Tough luck. 93 through 8. How close can he get? To some close calls. Trying to up three points to one. No lead is safe with these bowlers. Any division. On the crossover. Breaks the diamond. With rolling angle now. Got the three, six in front, the nine hiding behind the three. Seven head pitches in the first, six here in the second, in nine boxes. Very good for a C bowler. For a spare. Got it. Who needs the one? 103 in the ball through nine. Third spare in the second to go with one strike. Five spares, two strikes in the match. The number two seed. John Hogan now keep the official score.
tight from John Hogan. Justin goes back left, but it comes back for the bunch in the back row, cleans it out. 1-3-6, going with three in a row. 1-10-9. Yeah, right. For another one. No! A little too thin the head fan. That's a break for Spencer. Six pin for a 120. Nine, 119. Excellent. Second string. Class C, folks. Class C. It's a Class A string. 229 his first two strings. Spencer Lisi, 43 half, has some work to do. Needs 77 to win. And you go up three points to one. They tied the first, 100 apiece. Alisi, right in the nose. Can't get the seven to go. 6-10 right. Three pieces on the deck to deal with. Three head pinnets and six boxes, all splits. Starts halfway at the at the, the, the approach. One, two, three. Good try. Thought he might go right, but angle wood does not make it easy. He has that power ball, so he can fly over it to the right side. And that's why they want to use that wood, probably. So he gets an eight. 51 through six, the second of five. The fifth seed. Trying to get close to the general for number one. His favorite bowling moment was getting his first 400. 428 is high triple. Being the elite bowler only. And look at this. Wow. Take a video of this one, folks, Nico. Look at this. The one and the eight. We see some crazy, crazy shots. Some crazy leaves. That's a youch, a yikes and an ouch. Youch. So much for being the head pin, right? <laughs> and look at this. Only one. It's a cruel game sometimes, isn't it? Just that three box to cost him two points in that first string. The one. And nice out considering. Look at that. Oh, the four pin slides. Doesn't go down. He gets a seven out of that. What a strange box that was. 78. A correction, 58. 58 through seven. He needs a huge, huge finish. He needs 62 somehow. He needs a double strike to win the string. Excellent, excellent match. Alisi fires away for a strike. Almost. Could have used that one. Four pin left up. Each ball one for one early on on single pins for spares. Finally, no split. No, missed right. Not happy with that shot. Fierce competitor. All grand special the first time today. Missed the second, make the third. Never a good time for that, is there? I don't think so. Many times they do that. Missed the second by an inch or less and making the third. 68 through 8, now in trouble. In danger going down three points to one. And that means Spencer. Cannot get within three. The best he can do now is get within six points of Bryant. But he's going to bowl him again later this year. And just for zero, if he holds on, he'll be up three points to one. He needs six more points today to get number one seed over the general. Nice shot. Won't go. And just for zero, he's three points to one with a thumping 119. Second string. Three strings after this. Just a deep sigh of relief. Knows he has a tough matchup today. A nice 10 for Spencer Elisi. 78 through 9. His brother, Corey Elisi, Jordan Britton, hosts Candlepin Corner Skins. On YouTube, subscribe to Candlepin Corner on YouTube. Skin in action at Lita Lanes, in Nash, New Hampshire.
Also, the Can Up and Corner podcast as well. Can Up and Corner on YouTube. And obviously, don't forget to supply, subscribe free. Never a charge to Can Up and Bowling Network on YouTube. Over 1,000 videos and climbing. Never a charge. Spence a tough, tough string. No marks. It has two sevens. Also, a couple of eights and nine. It does have four tens, though. You won't crack eight. When we get to 90, this string. At 85 with a seven down. You just has turned this tied first string match around. A possible 30 pin lead. Another seven for the third time. 85. 185 through two. And all of a sudden, a tie after one match goes to 34 pins for Spencer Lisi. Rather, for um, Just Majero for Spencer Lisi. But watch out for Spencer. He can come right back strong. He had a pair of 129s against Eric Sikowski, Lakeside Lanes, in the 14 0 sweep in the third and fourth string, I believe it was, or fourth and fifth. So he can right back with a couple of big ones. Justin Majero, home record 20, uh, 70 and 28. And his seven away average is 62 and 36 against playoff teams. He's 40 and 44. Spencer against the playoff teams also is the opposite, 44 and 40. Justin starts the middle string with five. We'll put the scores up after this box. Nothing like the great game of Cannibal Bowling. Get the word out. Invite your friends to bowl. Cannibal Bowling. Cannibal Gift Card. A great way to do it. Nice shot for a spare to start the third for a zero. Here are the scores. The first two strings. It's been a good one, but Spencer, ice cold. Justin, red hot. On the bonus, another half Worcester. That killed him in the first string. He had a two fill and a three box. He's got one pin more. He decided that equation. He would have won that first string. He's got three to one right now. Trying to work out of it. Four left, five right. Twelve through one. Oh, what a shot for a ten. Outstanding. That's a wild ten. Twenty-two through two. Nice. Some really terrific shots and some really strange leads. Still a good ball. Yeah, that's a rough one. Yeah, back. Ruggiero just missed right. Gets seven. One, two, seven. Just inside. Leads up number one. Just into a 5.78 in the exhibition ACST match here in September as he gets a 10. 32 through 3 in the third. He has a 5.60 this season and a 142 high single. And with that tie in the first string, Spencer Lisi is now 6, 6, and 2 in strings by 5 pins or less. That's the third time of Justin Majero this season. He's 5, 8, and 3 in strings by 5 pins or less. Here's a rocking pin. Come on down. Another weeble. And grab by three pieces of wood. Trying to barrel over. Oh, too bad. Maybe a little more right of hand gone. A little tap. Not enough steam on it. Couldn't find an electric charging station. That's the ten, gets the 10 barely. He's perfect. Spare half was to two. Three tens. 42 through four in the third of five. Two versus five. It's been a good one. But the second string was all just a zero. Expects Spencer to counter punch up next. Well, Greg Pack, watch from Australia. Great match. Made the shot earlier, the opposite side. Wood maybe out of play, so I'll take a look at that wood. John Hogan's going to take a trip down memory lane here at Academy Lanes. April Mass, that looks like it's out of play. We'll double check it. Let's put the standings up again as I put them up when Justin threw a strike. My bad, the first box of the match. 
I didn't think it was ready to go. So, anyway, that's for yesterday. These are the four division leaders. And here are the four wild card leaders. Look how close this. And Justin and Spencer match behind coming in. So a lot can happen. And that one is good. And the ones on the outside looking in. Fred Powers still has a shot. Six behind Ryan Billings. We'll see Ryan and Justin on the 29th, Monday, at Wakefield Hall on Wakefield Mass. Can't get that one to go. 247. I get to 52 halfway through his match in the third. And two for nine, a near perfect half. There's only blemish that nine box, 51 half, the spare two, lower to score. Sven Salisi trying to bounce back from a 119, 85 drubbing the second, the tie in the first. Starts his middle string. Spencer 55 and 29 home, 68, 44 away. Right side, 6, 9, 10. 24 those 29 losses at home against Brian Patton and Jeremy Van Dyke, the one and three seed, respectively. Things for dominant at home otherwise. He's up the one and the three. Good recovery in a sense. Chasing a 51 half. Justin in excellently. Spencer nine down three in the string. Unthinkable 37 pin deficit in the match. Lots of time left. Lisi, beautiful ball, crossing over, tough leave. Five, nine, seven left. Woods have possibly help. He had five happy hits unofficial in the second with four splits. Two for five in the first. One for one here in the third. He would tap that wood left. It's left that red line. He does. He got it. Perfect. He plays spare. 19 of the ball through two from the third of five can take the lead in the string and cut it into the 20s. No marks in the second string at a spare five and a strike seven at first at spare five in the 10th box to tie it. On the bonus, on the nose, seven. Another split, four, six, ten. Takes the lead in the string, 26 22, down 30 in the match. Trying to kick it over. What a try! It goes! Wow! What a shot for a spare! Unbelievable! Two in a row, 36 the ball through three. Here comes Spencer Releasey. I told you, he's going to climb the gate strong. You may call your next witness. What a shot! Incredible! On lane 28, the bonus just missed the pocket. Steal seven. One wobbling two seven. Going for three in a row. 43 through three. Back to back spare sevens. And would to help. For three in a row. Got it. 53 in a ball through four. Up against a 51 half. On the bonus, crossing over up the wall, seven, not going to be easy this time, three, nine, half west to right, ten right corner, somehow trying to get four in a row, 60 through four, class C folks, class C, three spare sevens in a row, what a bounce back, after an 85 second string, I tried to just miss left, back to earth, what a battle, Elise chops the object pin for an eight. And an incredible 68 half. Shaves the deficit from 34, 50% cut in half down to 17 halfway through the match.
Paul Durant Live, Academy Lanes, Pub 125. This is the Atlantic Candleton Singles Tour, Class C, Northern Conference, Academy Lanes, Pub 125. Hey, Romance, we got a doozy here, folks. Way to go, Spencer. Now, Jess Majero, up three to one. Nine, clean shot of the four. For a spare, missed it. What was no good? Single pin's the easiest pin to pick up. Fall pin's in, but about 20 points. Stats by Kim Bowling Network wasn't there. Nine, 60 through six, the minimum. Middle string. They tied the first 100 100. Spencer, a spare five to tie it. Despite three marks to two for Justin Majero, that half was to two and three box cost him an extra pit point. And Justin won the second, 119 85, 68 51 at the half here for Spencer. Majero, 6 9 10 triangle, right. Too far right, six right, nine left, two chances by the wayside. That's not as easy though, less than one and two times it goes. Corey Lisi taught him those shots. Spencer, Corey said he taught you those shots. Yeah. He's been on fire lately too, he's been going great in the Friday Night Pro League for Academy One, the seventh seed. Just last Saturday, broke his high single high five. Yep. High single high five last Saturday. Congratulations, Corey Lee, Mr. Caleb in corner. Nine again. After a nine block, 69 through seven. For a spare. This time he gets it. Neither that one to stop the bleeding. 79 the ball through eight. Now it's the Millis, right? Yeah. Ten stringer. Ruggiero pushes left. Try to get bounce back. Only four. 83 through eight. It looks like it's be tied. Three points apiece. 83 through eight. Missed right. One, two in front. Six, ten right. His fills in the match for spares five, seven, and four. His strike fill in the first seven. And one also in the second. Nine box, 92 through nine. Spencer has a 68 half. What's the strike fill in the second string, Justin? Strike, Justin, strike fill in the second string. You have a strike in the second? Four fill in that strike in the second. Nice ball. It will be eight. With lead five. Trying to lean to the nine. Right turn Clyde. Won't cooperate. Another chance for a spare. He missed it. Spencer's more than likely going to win the string and could cut it into the single digits, potentially, potentially take the lead. Nine. 101 third string for Justin Majero, the two seed. 100, 119, 101. Jekyll Hyde, 330, a 110 average for the Class C bowler. Coming in fourth in the conference in average. Top average is the general, Brian Patton, 108.21. Spencer Lisi, second, 107.27. Jer Jeremy Van Dyke, 106.65. Just Ruggiero, 105.80 is fourth. And Spencer's a golden opportunity. He's already cut the deficit down in half from 34 to 17. Sixty-eight through five. Three spare sevens in the second, third, and fourth box. On the nose. Three, six, ten right, seven, eight left. Three head pinnits, three splits here in the third. Try to go in between the three and the six, see if that wood can help. He does, and what a try, but won't go. That's all he can do. Two strings left after this. It's been a great playoff atmosphere here. Nine, 77 through six. 
for the fifth seed in the conference. In his division, next three matches. The general with Ryan Pat, the big one, Paul Atkinson Jr., Andy Clemp, but not in the playoffs. Alisi on the nose, 3 2 split, 3 1 split, 2 4 7 in the 10. 100% splits in the string. Wood rolling back. He must stop. I really coming back a little bit now. He's hoping to rest between the three, the two and the four, but not going to listen to him. This is for a spare. Off the wall. No, a little too thin. And he's got the goal poles. Pick your favorite pin for right-hander with the wood now. Here we go for the seventh pin. Spencer with a C. Nice try. Almost got the 10. A 9. 86 through 7. Late in the third. 16 pins in three boxes. to make it three points apiece. But he's down. 34 coming in. 17 at the half. He makes more ground. Mark Neal would certainly help. Like the second spring, he's going to split. Three right, four left. Another split. That's five for five. In eight boxes. And that wood makes it interesting. It's a little too deep for that three pin, so he's going to try, I would think, go to the left of that three pin on the right and try to get that ball into that wood to possibly knock down that four. He hits the field goal instead. Ben Hamilton, thanks for watching again. I'm not a taco fan. I'm a big grilled chicken fan. Baked chicken fan. Paddock fan. Baked. And he gets a 9. 95 to 8, closing in to tie the points. But needs marks to cut the deficit down further. Has not been any ground in the second half in the deficit. But you can't get it all in one string. Just chip away, which he's done greatly. Right side, eight, nine, still. Now, this single pin left up the head pin as he almost got a strike out of that one. It's about 68 to 72 for Class A balls. But when you miss the head pin of the first ball and the two went standing, it's about 59.14 for Class A balls. That's by Kenneth Pulling Network. He missed it, case in point. For some reason, it's about 13 points or so lower than the average Class A rank. And the thing is, you missed the first, head from the first ball, knock in the second, and there's another Paul Grant special. Miss the second, make the third, ten. He's won the string with tied three apiece, 105 through nine. So the box in hand, he's down 30 in the match. It was 17 and a half. Been a great battle. Elise, half Wester, three in the night. We've seen a lot of those today. Nightmares for those leaves for me. Two boxes and you punch out two in the middle a lot of times. After that, the one eight or the one nine. Strong 68 half. And it's not gonna be easy. One five eight, six ten right, brutal. So the lead will be in the 20s for Justin Ruggiero, heading to the final two. Nice out, though. Only got two somehow for seven. There it is, eight. Ten goes down, eight. Making a 113. Third string. Cuts 12 of the deficits, a 22-pin lead. For Justin Ruggiero, heading into the fourth. Spencer up to 298 through three. So we'll check that here. Something's not right here. Okay, it's 320 for, 320 for Justin. 320 to 298, 22 pin lead. We'll put the official scores up. John Hogan doing the official scores. And that's going to do. If he takes 12 off each string, he'll win total. Spencer Lisi. Four string underway. Visiting Bola, Justin Majero in his home house. Got this box with the scores up. 
On the cross, Sobek off the wall. Nine. French does lately. A sea of wood in front. Will it be a roadblock? No, he spins left. Taking the ball to start the fourth of five. We're tied three points apiece. Here are the scores, so we can put it up. No, wait, into the box. On the bonus, 4 2 split. Ouch. Get a couple of spread eagles plus. Hurt him that first string of that tie. 14 through 1 in the fourth. Scott watching from Raleigh. Thanks for watching. Same spot. Brutal. Another tough spot box of four. Yikes. A spare four and a four. 18 through two. A sarcastic smile on his face. You got to bounce back. Just settle down. He's new at this. Just three years of bowling. Another spread eagle in the eight again. Wow. Punch, punch, punch. Okay, four, two, split, four box. Spread eagle plus the eight. And shots on the six. Unbelievable. It is a nasty game at times. <laughs> Try to get a bunch here. And Chuck's a one. An unbelievable five. A spare four, a four, and a five. Welcome to Kennel for Bowling, folks. You just never know what you're going to get. Been a crazy match at times. That was the third string. And through three strings, we're tied three apiece. One, eight, six, ten, right? Doesn't go too often. Let's show it again real quick. If you missed that, just one big in that second by 34. He's down to 22 after three. Nice shot. Won't go. Doesn't go too often. Just missed the 10. Would love a mark after this next box. Deep sign. Good pinning. 10, 33 through four. A spare four. A four, a five, and a ten. If you can figure this game out, please send me a note. <laughs> I guess Spencer a chance to cut it even closer. Beautiful ball strike! What a strange half a tail of two halves that first half. 43 plus two through five. Third strike in the match. Spencer Lisi's boy, he did that one. Spencer Lisi starts his fourth string. He cut it from 30 from even to 34 down to 22 after three. I think it's a 43 plus two half from Justin Majero, who had three marks to two in that first string and tied 100 apiece. Spencer got a ball to General Brian Patton again. Oh, the junior and Andy Klemper has got a good chance. Oh, look at this. Almost stole a strike. One of the three. Shakes his head. That's a good sign, though. Just like, where's that? My first half. Take him all you can. Trying to cash in. He does spin to start the fourth. Just his fourth spare of the match with one strike, and he's in striking distance to cut it into the teens this half. Maybe a single digits. The fifth seed on lane 28, Haverhill Mass. On the cross, it was strike! Strike on spare! Whoa! Bob's away, baby! 20 through 1, 30 plus 2 through 2. Here he goes again. Crushed it. Oh. 
Trying to double it up. Two foul left. Four. First ball on the strike. A little amped up on that one. Two, two box in the string. He's up 12 in the string. He's down 10 in the match. What a shot for two full. Three, six, eight left and back. Seven on the strike. 37 through two. Up 19 officially now through two boxes. He's down just three in the match. Just like that. Eight. Up against a five. 45 23. He's up 22 in the string. The match is tied. Dead even. What a comeback. Even up to 134 down up to two. Dead even. It took just 15 boxes to get back. He's up against a 10 and a strike from Justin Majero, the two seed. This has been fun. Love covering the B, C, and D bowlers. Eager to get to the next level. Lane reset as seven pin fell down. Bench has one lemon drop so far. Count for some one dollar. Ten dollars raised last night. Dan Grage and uh, put in five dollars. That's a jerk and die for lemon drops. Lacey just three that time. Like I said, no lead is safe against him. He is just one of the most dangerous bowlers in the conference. Good second ball. Can't quite reach the 10. What a shot. Now see a bounce back. Gonna fight each pin, each box, each ball, each string, each match. That one got away like a Southwest Airlines commercial. Nine. 54 through four. Justin back up by one in the match. He's up against a strike. Two versus five, living up to the hype. It didn't look good after the second string for Spencer. That's losing 119.85. Won the third by 12, 113.101. They tied the first 100 apiece. We're just joining in. He's also into darts, count from bowling. He played hockey and soccer growing up. And in May, they'll be turning 38 years young. May Day. May 1st. How you doing? Waiting for lane reset and lane 28. Again, I'm going to put these standings up because we will join at a different time. This is the standings coming as way for lane delay. So I hope it's a strike there like I did the first box of the match. I apologize to Justin Majero for that. Now again, Brian has a match ahead coming in. And, jo and uh, Jeremy Van Dyke is one behind Brian. So these two, Justin's going to first place. He needs six more points to get to first place. And they're the ones on the bubble on the outside. Craig Powers has the best chance. Mark Welch, Lane Britton, all the junior need to win and get some help. Lane delay, lane 28. And the score sheet, please. While we're we'll put the scores up on the screen of the first three plus strings. Since we're waiting for a lane delay, that's just a dead air. Here's the first string. Spencer Spear 5. The killer for Justin Majero is a half wister 2 in a 3 box and then a 7 box after a tough out. And the second string, the middle string, Justin lit it up. Spencer went ice cold. 119.84, 119.85. The third string, Spencer gave out strong 68 half. Fizzled a little bit in the second half, but still won 113 to 101. And so far here in the fourth, that's waiting for the lane to get fixed. Justin's on a strike next. Spencer at 54 to 33, up 21 in the string, down one in the match. It's a mark to keep pace. And now back to live action. Fourth string of five. On the crossover, 4 1 split. Five headpin is unofficial, the first three strings. 11 splits in 15 boxes. One for two here unofficially in the fourth. Use the wood 
want to go obviously on the three pin. Got the easy one out of the way. Now he has the three, six, ten, the nine behind the three. Trying to get the 64 to the half. And up pin gets two for an eight. Nothing wrong with the 62 F, the number five seed, Spencer Lisi, back to lane 27 here at Academy Lanes, up 125, Cleveland S. Jess Majero sitting on a strike, his third of the match. So right now, not including this fill, it's 62 43. Spencer up 19 in the string, down three in the match, but Justin can push it back up into double digits. On a strike. For double! Nine! Ten! Bang! Double strike! Wow! Huge! He had, now look at this. Look at this string. A spare four, a four, a five, a ten. Strike, strike. Sixty-three plus bonus balls. The triple he did it! Three in a row! Wow! Class C, folks! Class C! One, two, three strikes, you're in! Wow! 63 through 5, 83 plus through 6, 93 plus in the 7th. Unbelievable. It's down to the 2021 bowling the Kiss Bowl Free Program. For four in a row, just missed right. Sweeps down 7. 27 the next box, 90 through 8, 6. Oh, good try for the spirit triple strike. Eight on the next one. Scoreboard's going crazy. Ten. He had spare four, four, five, ten, triple strike. Sixty-three half, ninety through six, one oh eight through seven, one eighteen through eight. Unbelievable. Got a love Chandler from bowling. That's why you never get discouraged. Now you starts. How you finish? Five down, five up. Ninth box, four string. Well, it was close. <laughs> Got the three nine out of the way. One eight ten. His season high is one forty two. We'll need a mark to get there. Is that week two or three? And nice out of the head pin only for an eight. 126 to nine. Tied the first, he won the second, 119.85. Lost the third, 113.101. Was down 21. The power of the triple strike here in the fourth. Doreen, way to go, Justin is right. On the crossover at the wall is parallel to like Jack Shadows. Great show from the 60s and 70s. In the middle, right, five, nine, six, ten, seven left. I'm trying to keep up with my stats here. It's been crazy. Reverse triangle now on the seven. Try to get to 136. Nothing wrong with the 132 right now. For those six down. Threw it away for a six. Tough box. He's had a four, five, and a six box. And he gets a 132. Four marks, a spare four in the first, a triple strike, fifth, sixth, and seventh. A masterful performance by number two seed, Justin Majero, 132. Wow, wow, wow. 452. He's a 109 to be the season high of 560. And Spurn Salisi had the lead, cut it to one, tied it at one point. He goes for a strike, it's eight somehow. Five and the seven. Wood rolling towards the five. Trying to wave it over. <laughs> it's like, come on, Wood, help me out here. He got a triple strike. Give me a break, huh? Let me get a spare out of this at least. He's going to use that wood. It's not going to be easy. He does. It won't go. Great try, though. This guy is scary good. Eight. Justin. Looks like Justin had blown a 34 pin lead. Spencer drills nine. Nine pin left up. It's 
One for two so far. An angle piece of wood. Could go way right. More likely it's going to try to do that. Tough to turn them around way up on the cap. What a performance. A triple strike for Classy Bullet, Justin Majiro. Got it! Spare! He can't put it back on the screen, can he? That's yeah. You didn't get a picture of that? You didn't get a picture of triple strike? Yeah. All right, send it to me. I'll put it on the camera for chat later on. All right, here's for messenger. Oh, it sends my email. Oh, email. Yeah, it's easier that way. Yeah. Oh, what a ball! Nine! Look at a strike! Second nine drop in a row! 89 through seven! Here in the fourth. Oh, Missed it. Either that one, it hurts. Yep. Nine wasn't there. 98. 98 through eight. Yep. Believe it or not, he could still win the string. He's two marks. That would have helped. One string left out there. It's an exciting match. Oh, the coach, Lane Britton, watching. You missed a triple strike if you missed it earlier. Watch it later tonight or tomorrow on YouTube on Candle for Bowling Network. Spencer steals eight. One of the two has to get this to what a triple strike. Tied three points apiece. He cut it to 34 down to even. But Spencer went nuts. I mean, rather, just went nuts with a triple strike here in the fourth. And missed that chance. Two missed chances. And Justin looking good for five points to three lead. If he can win nine point saves in first place in sole possession, it'll be bunched up. Wasn't there for an eight. 106 to nine. Needs a double to win the string. Parisi on the nose. No. Good bid for Hill. Could have had four strikes this string. And now Justin Majiro is up five points to three. Heading into the final string. First three. to keep it closer. That won't go. Unbelievable. He could have, he could have won this string too. He's had some tough breaks. Spence all over the head pin. Unofficially seven head pin hits that string. 10, 116, slaps a high five, a low five to Justin Majero, 132, 116. So Spencer, 414 through four, Justin, 452, the lead is 38 with one string to go. Final string on lane, 28, Paul Grant live. Academy Lanes Pub 125 Haven Mass Class C. Second season, Jeff Little, the Laser, defending champ, now in Class B. Academy Lanes Pub 125, Northern Conference. Final string underway, Ruggiero comes back with the head pin, 247. Angle piece of wood, making it tougher. We'll put the scores up after this box. For a spare, no. Doing the curly shuffle. The way that we have to check, John. No, Hogan, that's definitely out of play. Let's show you the fourth string. Now look at this. Look at this. You're gonna go. Let, watch this. Justin, a spare four, a four, a five box, a ten box. Sits in a strike of the half. Then goes one, two, three in a row. And ends up with a 132-116 win. You know, Kumpel, 38 pin lead in the final string. Nice 10 to start the final string. Here's the first four. Tied the first. Spencer, spare five to tie it. The last box. Justin had a spare two and a three, which cost him an extra point. Strong 119.85 win. Spencer comes right back. 113, 101. And Justin, the power of the triple strike. Up five points to three. 452 to 414 of 38 in the match. Parallel pins plus the eight, five standing. One heck of a match, though. 
Just to spare. Good try. At least with the three. Ruggiero, nine, 19. His first couple of boxes in the final string of the match. Justin's wife, Krista, took their young son, Dominic, here to a kids' ball free program, 2021 Academy Lanes. Nice one of the rising stars, the youth program. Ruggiero, half Worcester, three in the nine. And some of the Massachusetts State Youth Tournament last season, 2023, earning him a scholarship. Justin, good second ball. Two on split. Jared with the wood. Nothing there for a seven. Going the wrong way. 10, 9, 7, 26 through three. If he gets 11 points, he'll be up three points on the general. Brian Patton for number one. Four ahead of Jeremy Van Dyke, who's one behind Brian. All the bowls have three matches left in the division. But Justin has a tough matchup also. That's been it. 2-1 split. 2-4. 6 right. Spencer's going to face Scott Bradish, one of 10-time TV bowler. To beat him 10-4 in a 505 5-0-1 week one match. Watch it on Cannon from Willing Network on YouTube. Wasn't there. Another seven back-to-back -back sevens. Now, interesting, he was 33 through four last string, and that's where he started three strikes in a row. Twin at 132, 116. And Justin's got to face Scott Bradish, the sixth seed, the eighth seed, Ryan Billings, and then Greg Belante. And that's a lemon drop, his first one. Each have one. $2 for Candlepins for Cancer. $5 on a spare strike. It's the four pin left. Second pin left or the sixth pin. Second pin right. Your first ball. Option one dollar donation. You laugh. We have eight families. Soon to be nine, including a fifty dollar bill from a bowler at the Scarborough Big Twenty Any Doubles Roll Offs. We've got a whole bunch of them. Put a fifty dollar bill into the lemon drop pool. Nice out. We'll take an eight. Look better than that. Just a forty-one half. What a strange game. Spence Lee. He has a chance to gain some ground. Down thirty-eight. A 79 half to tie it, 80 to take the lead, but you can just oh, yeah. get a whole bunch. Justin getting tired, he said. Justin. Spencer trying to get at least three marks here. Get close. 6 9 10. His final string underway. The difference basically is that second string, 119.85 for Justin. But give credit to Spence release. He came back to tie it. Couldn't quite get the lead, but tied it up. May have taken lead briefly. Triple strike for Justin Ruggiero. Put it right back in his favor. Spencer Lisi, an eight to start the final string. Down two in the string, 40 in the match, the biggest deficit. So he's got room to grow. He's up against a 41 half. Hit three marks. He's right there in the hunt. For nine points. Two for a string for a win. One for a tie. Four for total. 14 points each match. Again, the 6 9 10. Parents come involved around the age of 13. Start a ball. Good second ball. Spare. Crush the pocket. Needed that one. 18 plus a ball. Now 39. A strike to cut up the 29. Double strike would certainly help. Six spares, two strikes to match. Number five seed. Malisi on the spare, crossing over. Looks better than that. You gotta be kidding me. Four, seven left, five, nine in the middle. Ridiculous. Takes the lead in the string, 24-19, down 33 in the match. The roof may collapse when he gets this one. Great bid, the object won't carry. Seven, 25 through three, down one in the string, 39 in the match. 
Now, correction, he's up five in the string. My mistake, five in the string is up now. 33 in the match, he's down. You can get five points by winning the string at least. Spencer, off to left. Six, one, whittling three, ten right corner. Behind the one is the five. Get wood to help. Dan Gottman house. Shoot. For a spare. Oh, wow. Got it. 41 of the ball through four. Not giving, not giving up. Second spare of the final. Hey, Dan Shugathi, how you doing? Hey, good. How you doing, Paul? How you bowling this year? Ah, uh, all right. Not good, not bad. Right in the middle. What a crazy match. How do you get a four, five, and a six box and a triple strike in the same string? <laughs> Beautiful ball. A split. Two and the six. That's on a spare. 49 through four in the final string of the match. How are they falling here? Because these, these are the lanes I'm going to be falling. Yeah, he's been, a lot of splits today. But if you're in the pocket, if you work in the pocket, it works pretty good. Alisi. Oh, wow. What a shot for a spare. Sometimes you can't make the easy one. Back to back. Three out of four. Gives him a chance for total still. 59 half plus one. Up 18 the string. Down 20 in the match. Uh, unbelievable shot by Spence Relisi. Let's go over to lane 27. Chester Michiro, head pin, a check mark. We'll talk to Dan as soon as we can here in a moment. Okay, you how guys do you guys on game five right now? Yeah, game five. Class C done a great job here. Missed right. Now, how do you play the check mark? Do you go inside the 3 6 in that pocket or do you go? I personally try the three six pocket. Yeah. yeah, if you can get your ball to be on the side with the three pins, you're better off. Michiro gets a nine. It's fifty through six. Otherwise, how many times do you see people hit the nice pocket on the outside but they leave the corner pin on, you know? How many times do you get, you make a crazy shot for a sphere that you shouldn't make that you get and then you get a lousy fill? <laughs> Seems to happen all the time to me. Me a lot last night, but usually I mean, if you can be on the head pin the next ball, usually it doesn't happen. Ruggiero. Spins back for six, one, seven, nine, ten. Justin Majero in the match has five strikes, and this is Class C. Play a triple strike in the fourth. Tough lead. Good try. Yeah, it's a good shot. So talk to the viewers who don't know you, Dan Chugathier. Uh, talk about your career. Yeah, some of you highlight your high single five, three, things oh. like that. Me? Um, I have it. I have my home. I have it home. As your Justin gets a nine, that puts me at fifty-nine through seven. In trouble for the string right now. I mean, most people just remember me from running the kids show for so long. 12 years, right? Yeah, and uh, been on TV my share of times, 9 or 10. Um, I think the best best score I've had that I'm most proud of was 746 at Bogey a long time ago. That's a good score. Yeah, I'll take it. And 192 for a single. I'd like to hit a 200 someday, but... You might do it in Millis, where it's going yeah, down there. I know, right? right? That's for those guys who throw it 1,000 miles an hour at Millis. Like, Josh just had a 199 there a while ago, yeah. and then... Uh, Fontaine just had a 194 yeah. there a couple of days 227 ago. for Peter Croft in the Friday Night Pro League. Spencer That's missed that one. Crazy, crazy bowling, you know. Good bowlers, though. It's great to see that whole next generation not yeah. just coming up, but now they're winning it. That's why I love covering the semi-pro bowlers. That one got away for six, and he's in trouble here for the string, and tr and could possibly lose total after all that. Remember, he had a 34 pin lead at the two. Spencer tied it up, but now there's a 38 coming into the string, but all of a sudden... With that 65 through 8 and Spencer on a spare, 50 on the ball, it makes it interesting. Yeah, I really wouldn't mind being in Spencer's shoes right now. I feel like he's just like one more mark behind with three open boxes ahead of him. Here's your first strike, almost. Six right, nine left. Do you split the uprights or you go outside the, the, the six pin well, here? You, you could get away with missing the six pin to the left and catching the wood. It'll still snap it. But... No. Oh, he got the rebound! <laughs> yeah, you don't see that as often here as Millis, but I guess it can happen. Fortune, fortune spare, 75 to ball through nine. Needed that one. Look for a big fill. Three. Eight, 78 make it through nine. His fills in the match, six, two, six, eight, seven, 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 four, three. Trying to finish up with an 88. And that opens over Spence Lisi to take total. Wouldn't that be something? 
two big comebacks, possibly, and at six. Brutal. Yeah, he's only going to need a one. 84. Total, down 38 coming in. So he'll need a one, one, mark, need one, 20, one mark to do it, possibly. With a good fill here. Yeah. As long as he gets a decent fill, it'll just be one mark away. So Justin will go over his average 536, a disappointing 84 string. Could that cost him six big points? Two for the string, obviously, and four for total. And if that happens, he will not catch number one. Brian Patton, the general, on the bonus. Spencer steals eight. Going with three in a row at four to five, 67 half. Here he goes again. We told you, Spencer, no lead to save with him. For a spare. Bang! Three in a row. Four out of five. 87 the ball through six, and total is in play. That's why you never give up, folks. He's down 34 one point, tied it up, down 38, and can still win it. As long as he fills it with seven or better, you really ought to be able to pin the rest of the way and get what he needs for total. Just needs around a 120. On the extra session, right side, five. And mainly we call it the Christy Hapworth special because she never makes this shot. 82 through six in the final string of the match. Two spare fives in a row. A correction, a spare eight and a spare five. Two eights and a five. One, seven, nine. Trying to get a couple here. Beautiful shot. Nice nine. Big nine. Pro bowling there. 91 through seven. Can he win it? He needs a mark. One mark to win it. One for total. They tied the first. Let's see. He needs 84. He's down 38 coming in. It was 30. It was small. 38. He needs a mark. On the crossovers. 2-2 two, two split. 6-9 right. 4-7 left. Now, I find that to be one of the biggest trademarks uh, that you see here at Academy. If your ball crosses over and hits a nice-looking pocket hit on the opposite pocket, I don't know, three out of four times you get a weird leave like this. Compared to some houses, but you get away with it. Trying to kick it over. He got it. Unbelievable. Wow, a spare and a chance for total. 101 on the ball through eight. What a comeback again. Excellent shot. How do you get two comebacks like that in, in three strings? Amazing. Oh, yeah. It still needs a fill, but that was a really good spare. He's 123 for total. He's at 101 on the ball through eight here in Haverhill, Mass. On the bonus, 4 2 split. Makes it interesting. 105 through eight. Five spares here in the fifth. Big time shot here. Just missed. One, six, and take two here, Dan, in this situation. Yeah, I'd have to look through the math and figure out exactly, you know, where that puts him. He needs a 122 to tie total, 123 to win total. Okay, yeah, I'd definitely go for the two in that case. Big shot here for pins. One for an eight. 113 through nine. Final box is thrilling match. Can he win total? He needs a nine to tie for two points each for total and seven points each. A 10 box to win total and come back from a 34th in deficit, then tied it, then went down 38 coming in to win it. On the crossover, eight. He's got a chance. Nine. We're tied to the total. Exactly two chances to win it. That's why every pin counts. Never give up, folks. For a spare. He got it! He stole it! And he steals the total! Unbelievable! I had a feeling that might take it. <laughs> 123 in a ball! What a comeback! Twice! Like I told you several times, this guy is a tough out. Never count him out. Jordan Britton watching on the bonus to wrap it up. Three. 126 to 84. He lost a second. 119, 85. And he takes total. He takes nine big points. Justin Majero, five. What a match. 
540 to 536. Watch rebroadcast tomorrow on Kenneth and Bowling Network on YouTube. We'll put the scores and talk to the bowlers before we sign off. What an incredible match. Hey, I've been watching you for a while. As soon as it, I saw it was going, I said, that's my thing. <laughs> A spare six, a spare eight, spare eight, spare five, spare four, spare three. And that's how you do it. Let's show the string string by string first of all. If we can. I don't know if you can see that really good, but we'll put it up here for Micah. The kids track of the stats. But let's look at the string by string. Spare five to tie the first string, but just on the spare two, half western three block killed him. They tied at 100 apiece. Justin goes crazy, 1985. Spencer ties it in the fourth, 113-101. Spencer wins the third. It's three points apiece. Justin was down. He had a 4-5 half with a spare four. Got a triple strike to win it, 132-116. To up 38. And then Spencer wins it, 126-84 by 42. And wins the total, 540 to 536. Nine points for Spencer, five for Justin Jones. Let me update the standings before we talk to the bowlers real quick. So with that five points for Justin, that means Jeremy Van Dyke moves in the second spot one point behind the general Brian Patton. Spencer Lisi with the nine points goes to 132 and 78. Let's put these up. This is the updated standings. My chicken scratch here you can see now. This is through 15 completed matches. They all go to the division next. Brian, 140. Jerry now second officially 139, Justin 137, Dan Gray distant fourth at 112 in his division. Spence Lisi goes to 132 and 78. He's in the same division as Brian. They bowl each other during the last three weeks. He's eight behind. Scott Bradish, Eric Sikowski, Ryan Billings, the final wild card spots, reseed after each round. And on the bubble, there you have. Let's talk to the bowlers before I sign off. Spencer, I'm sure you want to talk now, but let's talk to Justin first. Yeah, yeah. Justin. Yes, sir. This is why you never... never John, can you in the screen there? John, can you see us? Can we go on the other side? Don't mind. Yeah, I'm going to go on the other yeah, side. Yeah, be easier. Yeah, be easier. Just get this microphone around here. Justin, what a performance early on. Not really. You had you had a you, the second you had a big win, 119. Yeah. He came back and tied it up, and you you came back with a triple strike, and that turned it around with some four, five, and six boxes also. Yeah. And you yeah. could have got that first string also. Yeah, I uh, I became an all or nothing bowler. I couldn't get anything going, and I had way too many bad boxes, bad fills. I gave the game away. He took it also. It was a nice little combination. So. Does a game like I know you lost that tough and a heartbreak finish. Does it help you sometimes when a match like this and a tight match with a Great ball at Spence Releasey? I don't know. I, uh, we'll see. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm doing the best I can with what I got. I this is your third, third, or year, third or fourth year of bowling. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. I'm still new at this and still going through some, uh, clearly going through some growing pains. But you've been you great, some great strings this year. A couple good ones. Like yeah. I said, I'm all or nothing at yeah. this point. So. All right. All right. Thanks a lot, Justin. We'll see you no soon. Problem. Spence Releasey. I know you don't like to do interviews too yeah. often, but you got to do this one, man. I'll do this one. Down 34, you tie it. He gets a triple strike at you. Then he goes up 38 going the last string. And what are the odds of winning a 38 down going the last string? I, I mean, you got to just keep going. That triple was brutal, but you know, got to keep throwing the ball. And you said earlier, well, I, uh, after you yeah, got the triple, you said, sure. I've lost. Yeah, I've lost this one. I thought for sure, but you know, he had a couple tough breaks, bad boxes. That's all you can hope for. And now you're you're only eight behind Brian now for the for, for the conference lead now potentially, and you got him the final three weeks of the season. I've been saying, oh, you're a scary bowler, very deceptive fifth seed. Yeah, it's off and on. So if I can stay consistent, say hot. Okay, now Corey Lisi, I think is watching. If you had a money match right now with Corey, who would win? Right now, oh, I'm gas. He'd kill me. <laughs> well, not now. <laughs> I mean, if you're he, fresh, he's been hot. He just broke. hot of late. He just broke his high single, broke his high five. He's been he's been hot. So. You're bowling great in the Friday night probably seen him a few times for yeah, Academy One. Yeah, I want no part of him right now, but. I'll still take him if he wants a challenge. I'll never turn that down. But. Okay, three-letter word for going 9-5 and five against a very good bowler, Justin Majero. Win? Oh, you probably want wow. Yeah. <laughs> win, win is win trap. Right. Win's good, but we'll wow it. Okay, thank you, Spence Lacey. What a great match. Final score, 540 to 536. Unbelievable match. Watch it later on at Camp from Bowling Network on YouTube. From Academy Lane's Pub 125, Paul Grant saying so long for now. Thanks for watching this great game of Camp from Bowling.
That is very big. Yeah, I'll just go pick up.